BWIA, um, aluminium and carbon fibre. Aluminium starts from the front, up to the front up to the back of the bulkhead. And then from the back here, back file all through to the back. Um, obviously you can see here the sill is damaged. Um, BMW recommended we don't do repairs, so we do replacement pa panels. Um, on the IA, panel come through through here, it comes through here. Obviously you can't see the back of it because the core cool panel is on. But once it's all been stripped down, we then mill around the edge, so all around the edge here is glued, with a K2 glue, which we have to then mill the carbon fibre and it will reveal the glue, and then basically pick the panel off, scrape away all the glue, and then rebond the panel. But to do, to do this, it's quite a big job because we actually need to go to the front and strip the whole front end down, right. all the suspension out of the front, and we have to drop off or unpick and unglue the front uh, active module. That comes off, we have to replace the fireball with the bulkhead, that then comes out, and then we can do this part of repair. They're, they're kind of layered like an onion. And you've got to get to the middle of them, you've got to take the front part off. It. It's, it's quite, quite, quite a big job to be quite honest. It's, it's my first one, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we put all, all the training into action, so. So how is the aluminium front and rear section joined to the... Uh, the rear is bolted in and the front is glued. So the, 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 the aluminium is glued to the bowl. So it's purely bonding? Yeah. Yeah, oh, there's a couple of bit, bit, a few bolts, but majority, majority of it is just glue. Yep. It's just quite a big job. You have to actually hack or cut through the bulk of it, pick it away, and actually literally heat it. Yes. And peel Fair. it off. Yeah. On the training course, it, it's, it's quite a job just getting it off. And the rear is held by just bolts. On. Just bolts. Yeah. And at, at the minute, as far as we know, if it gets hit in the rear and the beam panel gets damaged, the roof has to come off peel the roof off and then work your way to the back of the car again. It's really quite... <laughs> yeah. so, so if anybody's watching this, don't try it at home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Definitely. Is this an example of the bonding, bonding of this panel to a brace? Yeah, it's just a, a brace. Most of them should be bolted on. That's all bolted on? Yeah, yeah. The quarter. Yeah, really. But you have to, when, you, when you replace the bolts, uh, when you replace the bolts, bolts have to be done to a certain torque. Yeah. If not, you can actually share the, yeah. the bolt off, off the carbon fiber. Yeah. Then you've got a problem with the carbon fiber. Yeah. Again, when, when, we, when we actually build it, you have to be careful that you don't go through the glue into the next panel. Yeah. If you go through the glue into the next panel, then you render the next panel damaged. It's so we need to talk about milling. Yeah. Um, you mean like a, a router? Uh, kind of. It's a milling, so it's like a diamond, diamond tip stone. Right. And it just fills it, yeah, it just like a grinding, right. like, like, like a hard, hard grinding stone. Right. But you have to yeah. be, able, I mean, I, I don't... Sophisticated method of grinding. Yes, basically. And um, is it a special BMW tool that you use for that, yeah. that's been specifically developed for the iCars? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah and it actually it extracts the, the um, dust and the fumes as you go. Yeah, so the, we, the glue is actually black, so that makes it quite hard. Because being the carbon fibre is black as well, as soon as you get the glue, yeah. the, because the glue is a lot softer than the carbon fibre, the middle sort of cut through the glue very quickly. Yes. So you really actually have to go quite, quite methodically slow, and just, just because if not, you, you can create some massive problem. So <laughs> rebonding of the new panel, uh, how critical is it to control temperature and moisture uh, content within the air? Actually, it's funny we, we, we talk about it in the course because it obviously does have. Heat will have had a, a make a difference to it. Yeah. As yet, I'm not entirely sure because we have, obviously Australia, Australian conditions compared to German conditions are going to be yeah. very different. Um, I know that with the glue we have to work pretty quickly. Mm. Even when doing a roof, you, you only have a certain certain time to you get the panel on before it starts to start to cure. So, so a humidity level. I think it will do. I'm not going to say it will yeah. do, but luckily it's pretty cool in there. Compared to our old shop, it's very, very really quite hot. So it is important to control that environment when you're remodeling. It'd be nice if it's air conditioned, but I don't. <laughs>